Cardinals and the Niagara Purple Eagles. We'll start off with Coach making an opening statement, and then you'll take questions. Well, I, that was our best half of basketball of the season <clears throat> with offense as well as defense shooting 64%, holding our opposition to 35%. And then the, the whole halftime, I just told him, I said, the toughest thing in basketball, pro or college, is to play with a lead. The other team is really upset. Their defense picks up. Their offense picks up. And if you don't have the killer instinct, then they're going to come back in the game. And that's exactly what happened, which is a tribute to Niagara. Isaiah Ross played like he was a freshman tonight. But I can't complain because he's had a great season. This is his first really subpar game. So awesome first half. If you want to know the truth, I'm happy it ended this way because whatever final game, St. Peter's or Fairfield, either team would have blown us out if we would have won this game by 20 points. So I'm really happy about it. All right, we'll start off with Eugene. Can I have a water, please? Rick, what do you have to say about the scoring balance and the way your players stepped up despite Isaiah only scoring four points tonight? Like I said, great first half, um, both at both ends of the floor. Uh, and the worst second half of the season. Uh, they, you know, there's 12 new players on this basketball team, and they really don't know what it is to play in a game like that. And it, it, everything is a lesson, a lesson to learn. So we, we learned some valuable lessons, and I'm hoping it'll help us in the finals. But I'm real proud of it because this is our fourth game. Not easy to win the fourth game. And uh, you mentioned you have a lot of new players, but what needs to happen for you guys in order to have a consistent 40 minute effort? Um, you know, you guys play great in the second half, the first two games, and then here it was great in the first half. They have to learn. Look, I'm not going to BS you guys. We're out of shape. Um, and there's a reason for being out of shape. Um, we, we've come out of four COVIDs. Now we're not pathetic shape, but we're going to get tired and, we're not a deep team, even though I play a lot of people, we're not a deep team. And we got to get ready for the fourth night. And Niagara, who I'm very impressed with, um, is a tough basketball team. They played awesome last night against Fairfield. And um, our players got their attention. They know if they don't bring it for 40 minutes against either one of Fairfield or St. Peter's, they're going down. Thanks, Rick. Thank you, Gene. We'll go to Ken next. Coach, congratulations. It's uh, Sante Gish really kind of picked up the scoring today uh, with Isaiah having a quiet game. What about uh, Asante's game today? He played well, but he's the only guy that played well. Um, every single guy, Ryan Myers, uh, Dylan Van Eck made, you, you can look at the stat sheet and say five for five and, and five, but like the foul at the end of the game, we need him in the game and Nelly's got him walled up. And he smacks the guy. You can't, you can't be a, a senior and do things like that. So uh, we're going to watch the film. We're going to learn a lot. And I think it'll be a great learning lesson going into this final game. But only Asante was the only one that played decent tonight. And coach, when Niagara went on the run, uh, what do you say to your players uh, when, you, when you take a timeout about how to stop a run uh, when the, te the other team's got all the energy? Well, I went through strategy and said, uh, there's 15 players right now. I'm trading all 15 of you uh, if you lose this game. No, I didn't say that. Um, I just said, look, you have to understand that defense is going to win it. They're going to come after you. But you can't want the, the clock to run out. And that's, that's the biggest mistake we made. Because we had 43 points in the first half. And this, the entire second half, we just played to run out the clock rather than play to get 90 points. And that's the lesson that they're going to take away from this game. Thanks, Coach. Thank you, Ken. We'll go to Jim next. Coach, Nelly came out pretty strong, made a couple of baskets early in the game, and it kind of disappeared. What happened there? Well, that's where Isaiah's got to learn, learn be, a, be a veteran player and get him the ball more when he's on his wing on a turnout. Um, Nelly, Nelly missed a lot of easy shots, about two or three of them. Missed some free throws, which you should make. But that's something that we're going to watch the film and correct because the more you go inside to him, the better your offense will be, working inside to out. When you just try to dribble drive, the other team's going to switch and take it away. Thank you, Coach. Thank you, Jim. We'll now go to Aaron. Coach. 
Go ahead, Aaron. Um, Coach, you guys went out of went, went out of field goal for the last nine and a half minutes. Um, what happened in your offensively, or was it something they were doing defensively that you know prohibited you guys from you know putting the ball in the basket? You guys were the only um, you know were able to make free throws, but you know what was it about their defense that you know prohibited you from you know uh, getting any field goals the last nine and a half minutes? Well, they switched a lot, um, and then when Asante went out, that was a problem. Uh, I think that more than anything else, I think that they had fear in their bellies instead of aggression in their bellies. And that's what'll happen. Just wanting the clock to run out is not good enough. We played very poor defense down the stretch by giving things up. We didn't switch correctly. We didn't defensive rebound correctly. And we had a little fear in our bellies thinking that they were gonna lose rather than just attacking. Their press bothered us a little bit and our press, it shouldn't have bothered them. Um, and that, that's a big mistake that we're gonna correct. And what's going to be your message to your team, you know, as you go back into the locker room and you prepare you know, for St. Peter's in Fairfield or Fairfield tomorrow? Obviously, I know you said um, that if, if they play like this tomorrow, you know, they're going to lose. But, you know, outside of that, more so from X and O standpoint, um, what are you going to be trying to correct going into that game? Well, we're going to watch the film and show them their mistakes. Show them. Um, because a little pr that Niagara's not known for their pressure and it bothered us, especially Isaiah Ross. Uh, St. Peter's gives. Mm, they come after you. So we got to make those corrections. We'll watch the film and um, they'll learn their lessons tomorrow. They'll learn, the way you have to, if you let a team press you and you don't attack it for baskets, then, and that's exactly what we did. We, we broke the pressure and we backed it out and try to run plays. If you don't attack it, then you don't have a good press offense. Thank you, coach. We'll be back shortly after this to, uh, to continue the press conference. Thank you, Coach. Okay.